All right, this is my fifth hunt. Jacob's sixth, um, doing something different today. I'm hunting with this, uh, the TX-5 here. That'll, um, it's the TX-5 Lone Star 2.0, right? Yeah. 2.0, and uh, uh, basically gonna do a review on it. So we're knocking two things out one time here. We're gonna go hunt, and we're gonna get a review on this saddle. What better way to test one out is to sit in the tree for, well, for, we'll go probably sit in the tree six hours, probably five, five, five to six hours here in a second. So um, that's a pretty good testing right there. But um, we're gonna go try it out. Um, and then afterwards, we'll talk about some of the features of it, because that, and I can't really talk about the features of it while I'm wearing it. So, but anyway, we're gonna head down to the bottoms. Um, Jacob has had some deer eluding him. We're gonna go try a tag team, ain't we? Yep. Yeah, so. About 30 yards off from my mark back. So we're gonna go at it. Uh, see you in the bottom. Strip of woods there. Yeah, over here and there. And but anyway, um, the wind might be for a favor. I think it might be. If it stays, um, that's actually um, a north wind. But it's also blowing like this a little bit too. You feel it? So anyway, we'll we'll find out. But we're hunting close. If what? If that spotted fawn runs around one too many more times, I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> He's a killer! He's a killer! <laughs> Alright, I'm back at the tree. I started day one in, and he's right down there. So let's get up the tree. Alright, well, I'm in the tree. Same tree I was in last time. All settled in. 315. I believe Jacob's pretty settled in over there. I can't see exactly which tree he's in, but I think I see him. Oh yeah, I see him. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get in on here. That land, oh, it's windy as I'll get out here. Anyhow, 
So, sit right here and watch and see. Possibly Jacob's last night tonight. Seventh and final hunt, I believe. Yeah, and this is my sixth. And I'm talking kind of low because I'm going to hunt the field down here. I got old man syndrome. And I don't feel like hiking far. I could. But I don't feel like it. So, anyhow. Trying to save some energy for next week. Um, bow hunt North Carolina. But it's uh, it's the final final night basically I hope he might hunt tomorrow but uh we're gonna you're gonna go hunt a saddle he's gonna go hunt a saddle mm -hmm. and uh, pick up his cameras and hunt that saddle and uh i'm gonna hunt in the tree uh, that i was hunting in when he shot his buck last year and today is actually one year to the date it actually is one that, year to the date that he shot his buck Maybe uh, maybe today maybe this will be that special day of the year for me. Yeah. Maybe it's got those November 11th days and stuff. So. Maybe maybe. Maybe it might be September 8th. I can't remember what. But, uh, I've killed quite a few on September 13th, but anyhow, um, mainly does. But uh, I'm gonna say a prayer. We'll head down there. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this beautiful day you've given us, Lord, and I thank you for this just this week um, that we've been able to enjoy our each other's company and come out here and hunt and enjoy your green earth, Lord, and I just pray you bless this hunt, keep us safe, and uh, let us stick one, if it be your will. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hopefully no more falls for me. Yeah, no more falls. Uh, and that was actually before I prayed yesterday yeah remember i prayed oh, you i said prayed. that i was going to text back and go oh now you pray after i fell <laughs> after he falls <laughs> that's what i get for not praying before the hunt all right we're gonna i'll see you in the tree all right it is 3 15 i've been in the tree for um, about probably about 50 minutes or more i've just been up there chilling enjoying listening to the crickets and the tree frogs um, but it's beautiful I'm dreading when the sun gets down to a certain point because it'll be shining on me but uh, maybe it'll stay kind of cloudy right now it's uh, bright and sunshiny and uh, I've got great shooting lanes in this field from this bottom up in this tree I can shoot down there And if something was immediately in here, I could shoot some spots in here too. Not too far. But I could shoot some spots. So, uh, anyhow, we'll set up here and 
I can fix it to do it devotion and uh, just sit here and rest and watch for deer. I feel pretty good about this afternoon. Uh, this spot, there's usually like it, there's usually deer here in here in the evening does. Um, the, on the video about how I wash clothes, um, that doe was in this field. So, we'll see. Well, well, that's it. Uh, I didn't see a single thing. The wind was blowing down the field. And I really believe I'm up too far. The deer was going to I actually thought I heard deer back there. The sounds of them walking. Downwind and then they walk off back up that way. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. It's kind of hard to hear it when the wind's blowing too, but they, uh, I believe they probably seen me anyway. Or smelt me. I'm about to Get down out of the stand, and uh, that's, that's the end of this hunt. And my next hunt will be North Carolina, but we're gonna finish the review on this saddle here and uh, tell you what I think of it. All right, uh, for the last couple hunts, I've uh, set this uh, TX5 Custom Gear Lone Star 2.0. And uh, it's, it's been relatively comfortable. I, I can't really complain. I would say that, you know, I've run a tethered Phantom, which is just a basic model of a saddle. And this is a uh, comfortable grade up one or two um, steps, basically, I would say. Um, it has a bunch of different features, a whole bunch of different features. One, is these kind of this it's got these uh these pinch hip pinch uh what are they called hip pinch eliminator hip hip pinch eliminators right here and there's a piece of kydex in here and you can remove the kydex if you want to but the it's in there and it sort of does uh i really didn't get no hip hip pinch um it also has an expansion like a little stretch right here. If you can see, this stretches. Um, I was able to put all my stuff on it. Uh, it also got all kinds of stuff going on here. All right, the belt, see the belt here? I can also put the belt here if I wanted the belt lower. Uh, I sort of liked having the belt up there at that height. Um, really didn't have to adjust it very much when I got up in the stand. Well, I, can, I am going to interject. I am going to interject for half a second and make one just slight complaint for him. I noticed when he was putting this thing on that sometimes oh, this yeah. thing likes to flip and turn. Yeah. So maybe potentially, if these loops were a little bit tighter on this belt, that may yeah. make it a little more user friendly. Other yeah. than that, that was the only issue that I saw him with as far as when I was putting it on. Yeah, I, I forgot all about that. That was because yeah. that was like what was that the first day? Yeah, if this was just a little slightly bit tighter on that loop, I think it would keep them from rotating like that. But it's got all kinds of places to keep stuff on here. Um, it's like hey, I've got everything on it. Now, the only thing that I when I say it, um, the only thing I can really complain about, besides, oh gosh, besides your suspenders getting caught. Yeah, my suspenders getting caught everywhere. Okay, is when I was sitting in this thing and I got it on video and I'm gonna show it while I'm talking about it. Okay, there's right here, this right through here caused it to bow in. Okay, and in the video, I'm video be playing right now. Um, you can actually see where it's like um, pressing into the bottom of my butt. Now it's not so much that it's uncomfortable, but I could feel it. It was kind of weird. I was like, what is going on with my butt cheeks? And uh, so anyhow, that's the only complaint I have about it. It was, like I said, it was kind of an upgrade from the, from the Phantom. 
which the Phantom's a bare, bare basic saddle, uh, and I really can't complain about it. The leg straps, I, I, I don't know something about this, this right here aggravated me a little bit, but not so much that it, it was like a killer thing or nothing. Now these are these are removable. If that was that was your choice, you would be able to. Thread that, thread that off of there and pull them all the way thread, off. Thread that off, so uh, that would not be a problem in the long run because I'd probably thread that off because it was kind of. Um, but you could put, uh, you could probably put other kinds of leg straps well, on it too. Wouldn't in you? there, um, I believe that you can get an upgraded version of the leg straps, and it would have the cobra buckles on it. The cobra it's, buckles. It's a big difference. Yeah, but like I said, I sat in it for two days. And probably, let's see, if I was up in the tree at three to at, well, five hours each day, and it caused me no issues whatsoever as far as um, chafing, pressing really hard, or anything like that. Uh, I said, and then, I, like I said, it did feel kind of funny, that one part right there, but it didn't cause me issues. It just felt kind of weird on my butt since I'm not used to that. But, and another thing that was different from the Phantom is this is not Amsteel like my Phantom um, was, and it, yeah, it it operated just as good as the Amsteel did. It does come with a bridge tender on, yeah. on the side, so that if you go ahead, you can pull that. Well, oh, it's kind of hot and tight. Man, you got that, you got that cinched down. Yeah, you but you can you can change the length of your bridge, and when I first started. I had it out long, then I started noticing that it was a little different than the length of the, the, the Phantom that I had, and I moved it right to about right there, and that seemed to make it the same length as the Phantom, so the way I had, had it set up in the tree worked the same as the Phantom after that point. I think that's generally where I run my bridge too. It's usually just a little bit of tail hanging. Yeah, well the Phantom's all the way out. My Phantom is all the way out to, at that length. Uh, but I, I give it a, let's see, I'll say that I'll give this thing a, a nine on saddles. And I, like I ain't said in as many as Jacob here, but I've said in uh, quite a few. And uh, I was very impressed. And uh, if, uh, if I wasn't tethered crazy, I'd probably <laughs> go out and buy one of these. Uh, but anyhow, y'all, I'm gonna put a link to TX5 in the description. Y'all go check them out. Um, they make some really good saddles. Like I said, I can't really complain about this saddle whatsoever. It was comfortable, and it uh, done me well those two days. Uh, I think I covered it all. But anyhow, jump back over here. All right, so we've hunted. Many, many days now. It was a week straight for me, ooh, so ooh. I got skunked the last two days. Yeah, and um, so we've uh, had it rough, but hunting season ain't over for here in Kentucky. Uh, you'll be back down to come hunt Kentucky sometime. Of course. And I'm going to be hunting, and so we'll, we'll get at it and try to get some deer. Uh, going to North Carolina in two days, and hopefully I'll get some deer down there. But we, um, I appreciate y'all watching. Um, click the like button if you like the video hit subscribe uh, it don't cost you nothing to hit the subscription button all it does is that uh, you'll start seeing me in your YouTube feed and um, if you want to see um, get notified when I put out a video hit the notification bell thanks for watching guys love y'all Genesis 27 3 outdoors <laughs> later